Hi, everybody. Welcome to my plan with me. I skipped recording last week because I was sick as fuck. <laughs> so here was the end of the, like, so last week, the last plan with me you would have seen I was up to here. So here's the end. As you can see, I just kind of gave up on, on uh, tracking on Sunday. My, um, my quotes are, let your heart speak speak to others hearts the beauty of the soul is constant continuous and endless there is pleasure in the pathless woods and then this is it's common sense to have a smooth operation so that those who want to reach us are not frustrated into giving up a balance between spiritual giving and taking care of business so I read that in like a spiritual thingy so it didn't have a writer no quotes on this week because I got my vaccine my second vaccine appointment on the 20th and I was sick <laughs> I was really sick on Wednesday that was like the worst Thursday I felt a lot better and I had a call with my friend and then Friday totally exhausted Saturday hang out with our friends and then had a family zoom with um, my family and then Sunday because of that was just wiped out <laughs> Then this Monday, I actually took a three-hour long nap in the middle of the day because I was still not feeling great. <laughs> and my quote right here is, the main research project is my life. And that's from my friend Allie. She's the ED of a local nonprofit called the um, Independent Pre -re Print Resource Center. It's really cool. If you're in Portland, you should check it out, especially if you're a print artist. But even if you're not, they have a ton of like classes and really just cool shit going on. So here we are on Friday. I haven't tracked that much, but that's supposed to say budget. I know we're not talking about it, but let's get into the day, the planning. Um, the, oh, and then my friend Annie sent me a present and in it, it had some stickers and then it had this also this like cute little cat pen. It says, the cat story, a good luck wish for you. It's really adorable. So that's cool. But my usual tools of the trade, of course, primary ones being my Pilot Friction and then my Energel Klenna. Um, let's talk about the breakdown of the page here, just in case you're new. Um, this is when I'm supposed to be sleeping. These are all when I'm supposed to be eating. This line is basically when I'm supposed to wake up by, and theoretically, I'm supposed to talk to my husband about when we want to schedule our walk for the day, but we haven't been doing that because we've been recovering from our vaccines. Um, and then this green highlighter line is when I'm supposed to do my morning stretches and everything. I have not been doing them. Like I did them late. I woke up late today, and I did them after breakfast, etc. But that's the deal. That's a new ad line. This line is when I'm supposed to talk to my husband about what we're having for dinner so that we can like thaw out any meat or make any plans that we need to run to the store, etc. This line is midnight. That's when I'm supposed to stop doing any work. So that's chores and work work. And then 2 p.m. is when I start getting ready for bed. And I ask myself two questions throughout the day. What does this body need? And did I do any movement? So... Uh, blue is for social, red is for important, black is for work. This is an erasable pen. I think that's all you need to know. Ah, uh, this one. Five. Ba, ba, ba. So I'll have to record it a different time because I'm going to hang out with my friend Maureen. I've also been talking to my coach about what I track. And um, if it's helpful, you know, anymore to be tracking hours, like I started, come on, buddy, we need you to work. What's happening? I need a scratch thingy. Why? Why aren't you working? Pilot friction. Okay. We're back. Sometimes I notice that when the pilot friction, if I erase something around it, it won't like right over it or sometimes it will but it won't do you know what I mean anyway I don't always know what I mean uh I need to figure this out so I'm gonna get sorry pardon my reach 
I'm gonna get this thing and I need um because so I have uh I'm doing this volunteer thing and I have a ton of holds for this appointment but I know it's not all like all these holds are not the right holds they were like holds and then there were new holds and then there were other holds <laughs> um I don't think that's real. That might be a hold. I'm going to put a little question mark. Um, mm -hmm. This is great. I'm presenting to a group in Texas, my toxic productivity workshop, and I'm really excited. And it's sold out, you guys. That is just really my favorite words. Sold out. And then this, I'm not recording at this time because... I am meeting my dad for a fucking hug. Me and him are going to drive. He's driving about two thirds of the way to my house. Cause it was like four hours away and I'm driving one hour away. And I'm going to fucking hug my father. Cause this is the day I'm fully vaccinated. This is the day I hug my dad. I am going to get emotional if I talk more about that, but fuck, I'm so happy. And then there's game night with our friends. And then Mother's Day. Okay, that's done. Now, this guy. I'm going to go reach under here and get my thinger. Technical term. And I'm going to do most of these lines with my dude rollerball, but also we need to deal with this calendar. So I'm going to get one of these labels. Do, do, do. Put the non-sticky side to non-sticky side, approximate about a half a fold, and then just gently snip it off with my scissors. I don't need to be perfectly half, I just need enough space to cover this calendar. And then I'll do that for the next one. Perfect. Boo, 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 boo. Let me close that drawer before I bang my elbow on it or something. Here's my dude rollerball, ceramic rollerball pin that I use to do this thing. I started asking in the tracky thing, what does this body need? Because, you know, sometimes I would try to be, because I used to ask, what did I do to celebrate myself today? And, um, bitch, it's a pandanana. I can't always celebrate myself. Sometimes I just get through the fucking day, and that is okay. You don't need to top performance every fucking day. That's not... What if I told you that you're not actually here on this planet to do top performance 365 days a year until you die? What if I told you there are other things going on, man? Um... So... For some reason, like, when I said man, it just, like, if you've seen Soul, you know, that part where, um, the guy is, like, the government calls it 530. <laughs> mm, I love that line. It's, like, one of my favorite lines of a Disney movie ever. And I just, <laughs> I, I need to, I need to put that in my vocabulary. Because it makes me happy. Okay, so that line is in. Now let's switch to this Sarasa clip and put in my 11 a.m. wake up and talk about walk. And then that. And then my 6 p.m. talk about dinner. Boop. And that over here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh. I just decided to put my phone on silent. Just in case anyone calls. And then midnight when I stop working. And 2 a.m. when I go to bed. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boo, boo, boo. 
but yeah, so like I would ask, like I would have this thing that said like, how do, what did I do to celebrate myself? And it's just like, you know what? Sometimes I'm too stressed out. Okay. So, um, I would do this thing. <laughs> Does this, we don't want another bud budget incident. What does this body need? And then movement. Um, and then let me add my little stretch and meditate line. But I would be like, what does this body, or uh, what did I do to celebrate myself today? And I would like end up like looking at my planner at midnight, like, fuck. I have like five minutes left of the day. I should celebrate myself. And it's just like, you know what? Calm the fuck down. Sometimes it's okay to just get through the fucking day. You don't need to have like, I think that we like, especially with social media, we see this like picture of a person who's like thriving all the time. And it's like, you know what? Yeah, thrive. Fucking thrive, man. Also know that like YouTube is a curated space. You don't see everything about somebody's life. And also like, your life doesn't have to look like somebody else's life to be good, and it doesn't have to look like it every day. Um, how long has this video been going on? 11 minutes? Okay, I think I can get my stuff in. So, here I have Arp class. And then I have... Oh, I was in the wrong week. I mean, I still have class, so that's good. But record. And this guy. 7.30. And then because that cuts into my meal time. I'm going to put a snack and my meal. And then um, a member meeting for a thing I'm in. I'm gonna hold this 2.30. And then my book club. 5.30 to 7 book club. And then I have my coach. Oh, but me and my coach were talking about like, what do I track in here? And does it serve me right now? The answer is, I don't know. I mean, what do I track? I know I track. I track basically everything I do, but it's not everything, right? I'm missing certain things. Like, um, I'm missing things that just don't take any time at all. But, um, you know, so like if I'm making breakfast, I just write made breakfast, but I don't write down like if I like had a dance break and like had a really good time making breakfast or if I like other things I don't track is like if I listen to a new artist. Um, oh, I forgot I need to prep for this meeting on this day. Uh, 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 you know, like, or if I get, like, caught up in, um, like, the other day, I started listening to this old Madonna song, and it got caught up in my, in my, in my head, like, you know, speaking of the movie Soul, it's all that sort of, like, ephemeral shit that just happens in your life that you don't really think about. This is probably crooked, sorry. Um... That's what I don't record. And that's the shit I find, like, brings me a lot of joy in life. So I'm like, is that, maybe that's what I record now, you know? 
I don't know. Um, do do do, and then this might be an in person with my friends. I'm very excited. I think that would be so cool. Oh, huh. And then this is interesting because I am supposed to teach this class. But I haven't heard anything about what my who my class who my people are. Yep. So actually I need to be like this because I need a half hour of prep. Um, so like I don't know who's attending the class. I don't know how many. I don't know anything about it. But it is two weeks away. But that would be cool to just hang out. Okay, I'm back. I don't know if I can stitch those two videos together, but like my alarm started going off in the middle. Prep. Snack. Um. And then, um, to move dinner late. But I'll try to stitch these two things together. Let's see. Oh, I don't need it to be red. That's a normal meeting. Do, 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 do. And then record. And then family zoom. So anyway, we're talking about like what I track and if it serves me. Because I started time tracking to see To see if, um, well, I started time tracking originally, um, my sort of original iteration, which didn't have hour by hour time tracking, but did have what I did throughout the day. Um, when I had like these like controlling bosses who would try to micromanage me, um, when they were stressed out or just in general because they were shitty depending on the boss and then i brought um time tracking back what oh i am dumb i'm not dumb i'm just inattentive right now cuz i'm talking but i bought time i brought time tracking bought brought time tracking back because I was um, in my own company and I was realizing I was spending a lot of time with certain clients. This is years ago, this is an older company. Shush everyone, shush. All of my alarms are going off at the same time. Ah, uh, I just wanna plan. But, um, just to see, you know, what do I spend my time on? What do I spend my days on? And I realized that I spent a lot of time hand-holding clients with consulting that I wasn't charging them for, high-level strategy shit. And at the time, I made the, I think, mm, dumb move of instead of feeling that as a, being a call to become a consultant, I just told clients that I don't do consulting. Um, you know, when I think about who I was at the time, I do wonder if I would have been 
like mature, like professionally mature enough to be like, pardon me, to be like, yeah, I, um, I can handle like owning a consultancy firm and all the other things I need to work through. Like, I think there were a lot of like worthiness issues that I needed to work through before I could do this consulting shit that I do. Because even though I was giving people high level strategy advice and they were taking it and benefiting from it, I still, inside of me, I still didn't know, you know, um, this is valuable. I still couldn't internalize it. So anyway, that's the end of the story. Oh, why I'm tracking. And now I'm tracking just because I like it. It makes me happy to track and see what I've done. But am I tracking the right things? Is this really, does this really give me joy to know that, I don't know, I played video games. Kinda, it kinda does. I kinda like looking back and seeing my life. Anyway, see you later.